we quite regularly talk about number sequences in lessons. Now most of these sequences we might just make up and they don't have their own names, but some crop up a lot and they're so special that they get their own names. We need to learn about these for our GCSEs and we're going to go through some of them now. The first one I hope will be quite familiar to you. I'm going to draw us at the same time. So the first number is one, one dot. The second number is four. The third number is nine. And you should see where this is going now. The fourth number, if I carry on this pattern, is 16. These numbers are the square numbers. Called so because we can draw them in squares. Take a moment to pause the video and see how many square numbers you can write down. See how far you can get carrying this on, uh, say, for a minute. How many can you write down in a minute? Pause it now. Play. I'm going to note down some more very quickly. We've got 1, 4, 9, 16. You should have got... A 5 by 5 square is 25, 6 by 6 is 36, 7 by 7 is 49, 64, let's go up to 12 times 12 I think, um, 9 times 9 is 81, and 100, 11 times 11, and 12 times 12. Now that can carry on loads bigger, but we're just going to stop there, we're going to stop there. All right. Next special sequence. I'm going to get a different coloured pen and scroll down. Let's take a look. This next sequence also starts with the number one. But the next one. Three. The next one. is six and the next one after that the fourth one is ten now maybe since these ones are called the square numbers you might be able to have a guess as to what these ones are called you're right they're called the triangular numbers. Again, pause the video, see if you can carry on the pattern, write it down, and write the numbers on underneath, and see how far you can get. Give yourself a couple of minutes and see how far you can get. Pause the video again now. Here, I need my button. Pause. Great. Hopefully you've had a good chance to draw out loads of those with the numbers underneath. You may have noticed a nice pattern just in the numbers. That when we are going up in this, each time, it's like we're adding on another row. So between the first two, we're adding on those two. Between the three and the six, we're adding on three. Between the six and the 10, we're adding on four. And that gives us a really easy way of just listing the triangular numbers without having to draw out the pictures. 
So let's write out the ones that we've got. 1, 3, 6, 10. So we added on 2, add 3, add 4. I'm going to write that down. Add 2, add 3, add 4. So to get to the next one, and the next one, and the next one, you can carry on that pattern. The next one's going to be 15, the next one's going to be 21, and the next one is going to be 28. What I want you to do is pause the video again, carry on that pattern, and tell me the first triangular number that goes over 100. Give it a go. Play. Okay, hopefully you've had a good go at that. I have myself. Here's what I did. I carried on with that pattern of adding that we spoke about until I got to over 100. And I got the 105 was the 14th triangular number. That was the first one over 100. Well done if you got the same. Now there's just one more sequence that I want to talk to you about in this video. It's a little bit more complicated to draw, but I think it's really worth it because it gets to be really pretty once we've finished. Okay. It starts with the numbers 1, 1. And you can see here that I've drawn out little squares, one by one squares, two of them. 1, 1. Okay. On these squares, I'm going to draw another square. I'm going to draw a square that fits exactly by the side of the other two. There we go. And this square here has an edge length of 2. Okay, so the next number is 2. Let's try that again. So again, I'm going to draw another square that goes exactly next to these two here. And my new square has an edge length of three. Carry on. Blue one next. This one has an edge length of one, two, three, four, five. Make sure when you draw the squares that they're perfect squares so that each side is exactly the same length. Up here, I'm going to count this one first this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight squares long. Here we go. That one is eight. I think I'm going to do one more big one over here. Oh, I didn't write the eight down. Let's write that eight. Okay. This next one's going to be, I hope it fits on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. making sure it's a perfect square. Okay. That's as far as I can go on my piece of paper. As before, there is a pattern just in the numbers, so not with the picture, that you might be able to spot. I'm going to leave that to you. See if you can spot that number. See if you can spot that pattern, sorry. And see how far you can get that way. It would also be great if you tried to carry on this picture. Something you can do with, it, with this picture afterwards, after you finish the squares, is this. You might have seen this before on the internet. If we draw this curve inside it that just spirals outwards. How nice is that? If you do anything with that, with the picture or with the numbers, Please send it to me so I can have a look and tell you how good it is. Oh, and I should also say that this one is called the Fibonacci sequence. 
named after an Italian bloke from a long time ago called Fibonacci.